With me is David Scorey from Southern Trains. I want to talk first of all about what happened last night here with those 200 people on that train. I put it to you that you failed your customers. Well, I'm really disappointed to hear that passengers are unhappy uh, at the, the way that we looked after them here last night. We're facing a pretty unprecedented situation in terms of the extent and how widespread the disruption is on this network. We were faced with a situation last night where trains were simply failing because of ice on conductor rails and were unable to continue. So we, we needed to make a decision and think on our feet about how best to accommodate passengers who would be stranded in the middle of nowhere. But those people, there were families there, in the cold. They were being told on train announcements that there were pickpockets in the area. I mean, it's not really on, is it? You didn't manage to find them any warmth or any shelter. Well, the plan was, and we had managers and staff here overnight trying to look after these, uh, these passengers, the plan was to stable the trains here at Victoria, to keep the heating on. We did manage to provide refreshments, we pro uh, provided hot and cold drinks, and some sandwiches to the to the people on those trains. Um, we do need to review how well we did last night. This is an unprecedented situation. We don't ever intend to have people uh, on trains at terminal stations overnight. But, but last winter you were saying you're going to review and you're going to look at how information is given out. There's been a lot of frustration. We're hearing from people about a lack of information. Again, that hasn't happened. Okay. Uh, the situation that we've got here is pretty unprecedented. It's not that unprecedented, is it? It's, it's a bit of snow. <laughs> it is very different to the situation we faced last year. What's happening is the conductor rail uh, that supplies the electricity to the train is at ground level. We had a very rapid snowfall with very low temperatures, and we've got a build-up of ice on the conductor rail. In those circumstances, trains are not able to pick up power. We don't usually see it to this extent. We've got a number of things that we do to mitigate this. We run uh, de-ice trains, with that, well, Network Rail run those. We run ghost trains overnight. And normally we manage to keep on top of the situation. This is pretty unprecedented. And very quickly, the RMT saying today that those de-icing trains, they haven't done their job properly. There was some problem with the subcontractors there. And that uh, that de-icing didn't happen as it should have done. Can you confirm that happened? I'm certainly not aware of that. Network Rail operate those trains. As far as I'm aware, those trains have been operating. I'm not aware of any issues with those trains. And very, very quickly, when is this going to end? Well, what we're doing is working right throughout the night. Myself, my colleagues and our staff are working really hard. We're trying to put a plan in place to uh, prove the network so that we can try and operate trains tomorrow. Tonight is going to be very challenging. Okay. We'll have to look at that, David Scorey. Thank you very much. Back to you, Russ. Mike, thank you from Victoria. Well, many of you have